Welcome back. Dissatisfactory. I was thinking about putting in some work in the director systems, which led me back to our wonderful computer complex here. And then of course I noticed there was a problem. Right here, we don't have our modular frames. And right here, we don't have our automated wiring, which I thought was weird. Because I know I see the train run and it's dropping off stuff, but for whatever reason, stuff isn't making it to where it's needed. So we go down here and we see that we've got plenty of encased beams and there are automated wiring here. And then if we look where the stuff, see the train is below us, right? That's where the train station is. It's dropping stuff off as we speak, in fact. But it appears that there's automated wire. There's a thousand automated wire in this case alone. Another thousand here. 500 frames, 200 frames. So the stuff exists. It's just that the insanity that is this part of the game that we set up is broken. Now, the hard part about this is knowing what's what. Obviously, this one, we want to send in case beams, so that's easy. And let's see here. That's whatever's left, so this one should be something interesting. Modular frames. So why is this stuck is the question. This should be moving along. What are we doing? There's something in here that we can't see. Right. There's really not a good way to do this. Here's what we'll do. We'll put this here. We'll take this out. We'll put the output of that into there and then we'll turn this into an any something weird got in there and then we'll turn this back to automated wiring and once that's done we'll reconnect this Yeah, two staters got in there somehow. Sushi belts, I gotta tell ya. They do cause problems. I don't think we have enough throughput here and we could get more throughput. I don't know if this is, this might be good enough, but we need to increase the throughput here. So let's do it. I think we're gonna have to go two levels higher on the smart splitter. And then we'll merge this. And then we'll say on the left, we want frames, not fuse frames, just frames. 
And then going forward, we want any. No. We want undefined. We want all the frames to go that way, and then anything else to go this way. Then I guess we could just do it again, right? Merge. Then on this one, we want left to be encased beams. And the center to be any undefined. And that should be whatever's left is whatever's left. Are we really short on rods? There's almost no way that we brought rods with us. Maybe we've got a few rods in the construction zones up above. You get excited about making the video, you forget that you need stuff to make the video. There's some good rods right there. And get some uh, reinforced plates in the mix as well. Okay. There we go. Alright. Right, so we wanted to set this guy up. You're gonna receive, but then you're gonna output this way. And then we could just lift you straight down to the level that we want. And then connect you straight across. And now we can tap this additional level. I might be able to trust that this won't blow us up. Well, apparently I was super wrong. Not just wrong, by the way, super wrong. Why did in case beams make it there? Any undefined on the center output. Why did this doesn't make sense to me. There shouldn't be any encased beams here. Case industrial beans left output, center output, any undefined item.
I guess to be super particular about it, I could make this automated wiring. And now we're gonna delete this because we know the internal buffer is filled with stuff we don't want in there. So we're just gonna delete that guy. The only thing that should make it to this point now is automated wiring. Automated wiring. And we'll set everything else to none. I mean, that's really all that should be left. That's nice, we've increased the throughput, at least on this side. It looks like it wouldn't be worth trying to do this again, right here. If we really wanted to, we could probably figure something out. Sushi belts are a terrible idea. I don't recommend them. I did it for the memes on this game, on this playthrough. And it is, wait a minute, why are there a stator in here? That's bad. Ugh. That looks really bad that there was a stator in there. There's a stator over here too. Now I gotta have I'm gonna have to check this whole deal to see if staters are maybe that was a temporary thing. You're never sure. Once you introduce the sushi belt concept, you're never quite sure. Really? Short three cable? We're gonna make this automated wiring. And then as a super backup, any undefined will get destroyed. Sent straight to the sink. And then we'll merge onto this destruction line. One more. 
On the right, any undefined item. So at any point, I've accidentally introduced staters or something crazy into that sushi belt line. It will just get destroyed. It'll get ripped off the line and destroyed. I could probably pick this up a little earlier. All right, if I smart split this right here, I could probably send it. into here. By turning this right output into encased beam. I mean, if we know it's in case beam, then there's actually no reason to send it to the left side. Oh, wow. That's a clip and a half right there. Oh, boy. Let's lift this up a little further. Default one, two. At this point, there's really no reason to send these to the right, right? Since we're taking them off of this line and sending them directly where they need to be, we can set this back to none. And that eases the pain on this belt a little bit. this out and start over. The automated wiring is flowing, that's for sure. Whoa, wait a minute. Why is this stuff all waiting now? It could be good news if we just supplied more than these guys can use. Okay. Looks like everybody's actually pretty happy. They are definitely getting 
modular frames. And these guys are definitely getting automated wiring and the modular frames that are being made on site right below. All right, all that because two staters got caught in the buffer of a smart splitter. And it looks like we're starting to loosen up the supply as well. This container is basically empty. My temptation is very strong, though, to redo this. just that it could be so much better. But it's also working. I'm going to accept that it's working and just leave it. But my thought is, is that this side doesn't have to merge into this side. Right, we could easily lift this up and over and have both of these stacks of containers operate on equal standing. But it only really slows down when frames get put into this part of the construction, right? Once there's frames getting output and they get foisted over here, then everything else slows down. Well, you know, Let's just add a little bit to it. We, we won't do a full rebuild. We'll just add a little to it. Right. So we could smart split this right here. We go up uh, two more. This is getting ugly, but we're talking about the theoreticals here. And then if we make this just a regular splitter, merger, technically, would be better. This splitter would send to the right modular frames out of here. And send them over here. And then we'll drop them down into here. Oh, I built all that and Oh wait. No, it's right. It's just that 
this level now has something in it that is not what we want it to be. The simplest thing to do at this point would be to just merge this all back together. And then it can operate as normal. Center output should not be modular frames. Abort. Well, maybe it should. What direction are we pointing? No, this is probably wrong. Let's see, so it comes in this direction. The center output should be, I would say the right output should be frames. And then the center output should be any undefined. Well, modular frames are making it in for destruction. Automated wiring is making it in for destruction. And encased beams are making it in for destruction. And once these um, storage containers start to empty out, this will normalize. So we're done. Yeah. So this is a this is a good call that every sushi belt needs an awesome sink. That's gonna make this awesome sink the star of this video. Because if we had that awesome sink on here with this last little bit that says any undefined item at this point in the process needs to be destroyed, we wouldn't have lost all that time in production. Okay, lesson learned. Thanks for hanging out. Short one today. I do appreciate it, and we will see you next time.